welcome, 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 YouTube fam. My name is Fran B. I'm a nurse practitioner here on this channel. We talk all things nursing, medical. I like to do a lot of educating and just lifestyle in general. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And as always, don't forget to like and comment. And if you are returning here, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because you could have been watching anyone's video, but you chose to be here with me. So today, I'm going to just... It's my first video, first personal video. I've made videos in the past while I was in nursing school, nurse practitioner school, but this is the first personal video I'm making. So it's not what I thought it would be. As you can see, the title says depression is real because it is. It's November now. Um, actually, the very beginning of November, the third day into November. And I had planned things like so differently today. I got up. I was in a very good spirit. I did my best to be intentional. I got up, washed my face, took a shower, uh, put on makeup, put on some clothes, put on things that make me feel good. Um, I tried to stay out and get as much sunlight as possible today. But in between, I, I don't, I'm not sure what happened. I had like all of these plans. I had to do like two errands because I'm in the process, the credentialing process for a new job that I'll talk about later in another video. So I had to go and get a TB skin test. Um, and then I had to just do a, one other thing, a little personal errand. So I did that and then that turned into, I left the home at like 10 this morning. And mind you, now it's like now after 9 o'clock p.m. And so I told my husband, I'm going to just run out. I'm going to come back. And I'm going to try to record my first video and get this thing done. Because I put that on my list like the beginning of this year as a goal I wanted to accomplish. And yet here we are at the end of the year, November. I haven't accomplished that goal. I haven't even started on it. I haven't recorded anything. So I'm like, I'm going to do it. So then I, by the time I know it, it's time for me to pick up the kids. I got to feed them. Uh, my husband, he had already had plans for this evening. So today it was on me with the kids. So I'm like, oh, so you know what I did? I just didn't do anything. I decided... I'm going to lay down like depression, like some of the signs. I just want you all to be real familiar. Some of the signs, no interest in doing things that you normally enjoy. No motivation, fatigue. You just feel a lace, just tired. And I'm like, I'm tired out of nowhere. I got a full night's rest last night. I haven't worked today. I haven't done anything. So why am I? tired or drained. I guess because I ran a few errands and a lot of it's just stuff that I do and like wasting time. Stuff that I shouldn't even be doing. Going by Target. Um, I went to Costco's, which I needed to because we needed paper towels. But the thing that I want you to key in on is, is depression. And in the community, in the African American community, the black community, we often like to look over depression or say, you know, just get up and go on about your day. But with the days, daylight shortening, and we're not getting as many hours of daylight. Right now, it's not daylight here. I live in Alabama. It's not daylight until almost seven in the morning. And then the sun starts going in at five, a little after five, 5.30, almost six in the evening. So if you're working during that time, and especially if you're in the hospital setting, all of those daylight hours you are working, and then now you're coming home and it's dark. It's dark when you leave to go to work. It's dark when you come home. So you're missing like a lot of that sunlight that we normally would get. And so with that being said, we have to listen to our bodies, listen to ourselves, know the signs. Um just not getting up. Like for me, I let things build up when I'm depressed. Things is, when I say things such as house chores, 
Um, I'll make the bed up, of course, but I'm not like how I would normally make sure um, keeping the house vacuumed, keeping the clothes washed, keeping up on that. The clothes will just pile up until I just have to wash. And that's, it's not a good feeling. I just let things, I just buy things because that's one of my ways to cope. One of my therapies, I'll just go out and buy things that I don't need. And it, I guess it makes me feel good when I make that purchase. But after that purchase is done, I'm back to the feeling the same way I was feeling before. And that doesn't feel good. So what I did today was I just got through bathing my son probably a little after eight. And I, while I was just going to take a bath and just wash my makeup off that I put on to, to record a video, to get my first video recorded, to get things going and off the ground, I was just about to go in the restroom, in the bathroom, wash all my makeup off, take a shower, and just get in the bed and just bury myself. Even though when my husband left, I went to sleep. I went to sleep for like two hours. And then I got up and I was like, you know, the day is gone. Give him a shower. Give my, I mean, excuse me, give my baby a bath. My toddler, I have a four-year-old. Give him a bath. Just get back in the bed. And no. My, I have a 14-year-old daughter, so he wasn't up by himself. And my door is always open. I'm just closing it now to record this video. Um, but my door normally is always open. We don't close our door, me and my husband. So I was like, yeah, let me just take a shower, get in the bed, go to sleep. Tomorrow I wake up, I'll do it all over again, put on some makeup, and I'll feel better. And I'll be able to do it. But that's been, I've had three off days this week. I was off Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, which is today. And between all of those days, I haven't really done anything purposeful. Um, I haven't done anything to be productive. That's the word I'm looking for. Anything productive. I've basically just been going through the motions. Just, hey, get the kids to school, make breakfast for them. Worked a couple of days at work. Um, picked up a few things around the house. Um, the other days I was off. Just, I don't know, just wasting time. And I'm tired of doing that. I want to get out of this crud I'm in. I want to feel better. And I'm, I'm just trying to recognize that, hey, if this doesn't change, because I've been feeling this way for like, at least a month and a half, I'm going to have to do something. I'm going to have to seek out to my primary care physician, get some help. Um, I either go talk to my therapist because I do have a therapist that I haven't seen in a minute. And so maybe it's time for me to go talk to a therapist. So I want you to know that seasonal affective disorder, when the time changes, we're not getting as much as daylight and you have to Listen to your body, watch what's going on, and make sure you're taking care of yourself. Because you know what? I can't take care of my husband or my children if I don't take care of myself. And so sometimes I feel like it's selfish of me to put this time into myself instead of into my kids. But I have to take care of myself. For, for example, yesterday, I was very intentional. I got through working. I went, picked up some things. Like, did a, some face care on myself last night before bed. Just to try to make myself feel better. But it's like the things I'm doing is not making me feel better. Um, I'm reading my daily devotional. The ver verse of the day from the Holy Bible. But... Is something missing, and I, I'm, I'm not sure what it is. I have a some. I know one thing is missing is that I'm needing to spend more time with God because the devil is real, and so that's one of the things that I'm gonna make sure I'm intentional about doing in the morning is get up and read some scriptures to bring life back into me because right now it's not the life that I want. It's not, it's just not, I'm not feeling 
me. I'm not feeling free and be. I'm not feeling energetic. I'm not feeling productive. I got all these thoughts and ideas, but I'm not putting anything into action. Um, this year, when the year started, me and my husband, I came up with the thing. I said, this is going to be the year of execution. And I haven't executed a lot of the things that I wanted to do. It hasn't been a crappy year. I thank God for the year, but it, the year of execution as far as me, as far as becoming an entrepreneur, it haven't gone anything like what I thought it would be. So I'm going to put some things down below about seasonal dis the seasonal affective disorder. Are there no another way term for it is sad? And if you know of any suggestions, anything you've done personally to combat depression and anxiety, please feel free to let me know. Um, put it in the comments. I, I'm just open to any suggestions to get out of how I'm feeling now because I close the door and I don't do this. I'm not this way in front of my kids. And but I know I need to take care of mommy. Mommy got to take care of herself. So if there's any suggestions, please let me know. And like I said, I'm going to continue myself to be intentional. I thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.